This is the fossil transition from fish to land animals. Uh, why are you showing the seal again? Well, uh, I found on the internet that scientists considered this the fish that introduced walking. Uh, no, not this one. Yes, they do. No, not at all. They used to in the 30s of the last century, but this is long gone. Oh, why? Well, we found live ones. This is a living fossil? Yes, uh, and it doesn't walk at all. Not even underwater. It's incapable of that. It cannot bend its fin to make it a weight bearing foot. But we've got Tiktaalik now. Nice artist impression. This is the evidence. So Tiktaalik is now the fish that introduced walking. And here's the evolutionary diagram. Let's take a closer look at Tiktaalik. What is displayed here is not what was found. There are multiple fossils, but all of them only show the front part of Tiktaalik. So this is closer to what was found. Actually, the only thing that matters is the fin or foot. That is the part that should have introduced walking. That is the actual transition. Here's a close-up of the fin and foot of the artist's impressions. Now let's take a look of the evolution of it in detail. Here is the bone structure of these five fins and feet. Let's see if we can put them in the right sequence, to see if we can figure out the transitions. These three look like they have some similarities. Let's place them in the right order. This one has the least bones, so that one may be in front. How about these two? Hmm. It could be this. And now for the other two. Hmm, they don't look related to any of the other three, and not even to each other. Hmm, this maybe? Let's see how we did. Hey! Hmm, we put Eustonopteron in the middle. That one should have been in front. Wait, so the one with the least bones is number two? Uh, well, that didn't work out. Let's go back to the fossils. Tiktaalik and Ichthyostega. So what makes scientists think that Tiktaalik could walk? Walking appears to demand that the foot can be placed flat on the ground. Something we learned from the coelacanth. Fins are made for swimming. That can be defined as the biggest difference between a fin and a foot. Let's take a fish and a frog for example. This is the difference. Now this is what happens when we compare the silicon with Tiktaalik. The silicon was rejected because it was incapable of stepping, because it cannot place its fins flat on the ground. Here are the fins of them. Now what is so special about Tiktaalik? What makes it a better candidate than the silicon? Tiktaalik has fins not an intermediate between fins and feet. There is also a temporal paradox. This is how Tiktaalik was dated. And this is how the first footprints are dated.